All right, let's start part two of our map. So here's what I'm gonna need and what you are gonna need. You're gonna need, of course, your salt dough. You're gonna need the map that you made on cardstock. You're going to need your atlas. You're gonna need your geography packet. And I have some things to sculpt in the salt dough with. I have a chopstick that's made out of wood, a butter knife, and a straw. I'm probably mostly gonna use this chopstick, but you could use these other things too. Okay, so the first thing I did, so I mentioned that you should have your cardstock map, the nice one that you already have labeled, but there's another Oregon map too, and that was made out of paper. It was not cardstock. You should have gotten that one as well. And that's the one that I already cut out with scissors. So cut, just do the best you can. When you cut straight, it's pretty easy. But when you do these kind of like curved parts, you just kind of go slow and you just kind of trace it and you just make little tiny snips. You don't do big snips when you're doing small parts like that. You just kind of do these little baby snips until you can see a bigger line. They kind of go like that. You just kind of trace along. It's no hurry when you cut. So I cut my whole guy out. And if you want to, um, so you also have one of these cardboard pieces of paper, cardboard stock. If you want to, you can just glue it down or you can do what I did, which is I took two little pieces of tape, I taped it on either side, and then with a Sharpie, I never in my class got Sharpies, but um, if you don't have a Sharpie, just any marker, I just went right along the edge. And when you're doing that, it doesn't matter if you kind of draw on the piece of paper because it, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be recycled anyway. But just make sure that some of it goes onto the cardboard so you can see that. And once you get the whole thing, then you can take it off and untape it. I might even just kind of pick it up and notice it kind of goes out a little bit and in. And it's not, you know, an exact map. This one I'm gonna take off and it's just gonna be a straight line and I'll connect it. So there's Oregon. And now we don't really even need this so much because this is the map that we really like, the one that we spent all the time on. And let me say a few things about this before we get started. In the geography packet, Remember, you already did the map activity. Um, here it says salt flower map scoring guide. That's what we're doing now. Notice how, this is how you're gonna be scored. The shape of Oregon's correct. Well, we have that part. We should get 100 on that. And then that you label all of these guys. These things were all labeled already on your map. The only things that were not labeled were these major cities. And they're here too. So the cities you can find in your atlas in the back. Actually, they're all in the front too, right there. But I found them kind of in the back. Oh, I should have already labeled it. I had it set aside. There we go. Counties and counties and county seats. This is probably the best one here, though. Page twenty-four. You can find all of them. And this is cool because you can find them where they are on the river. Although Eugene's not on there, so mostly they're on here, but they're either gonna be on 24 or they're gonna be on twenty-three. So what I did beforehand, I think this you should do this too, before you even get go too far, and just pause after I talk about this before you do the rest of it. And with the blue pencil, label the rivers that, if you haven't already done this, that we're supposed to do, the Columbia River's up here. That divides Washington and Oregon over here on the western side of the state. The Willamette River, which flows through Portland, through Salem, through Eugene, goes all the way down here. The Rogue River, which is down the bottom, southern tip of the state. Klamath Lake, and then Crater Lake. Crater Lake's they didn't give us a blackened outline of it, but it's just kind of like right near the Rogue River. It's like right above the Klamath Lake, about a finger, it's finger's width. And then the other one is, I think I said the Chutes River. 
The other one is the Snake River, and that's what divides Idaho and Oregon up here on the northern side. So have those labeled, and also those cities. Remember we said we have to have some cities? Salem, Medford, Portland, Eugene, Bend, Pendleton. Have those labeled too. And just find them on here and then label them the best you can. And for me, um, well, I'll just show you quickly how I did mine. Portland is right up here where the Willamette River and Columbia meet, just like a little south of it, where it's where the dot is. Although really Portland goes all the way up to the Columbia. Because that's you, when you're in Portland, you cross the river and you get into Vancouver, Washington. And if you go down along the Willamette, you get to Eugene first. And that's where that dot is. I'm sorry, that's Salem. So Salem is about eh, two fingers, maybe three fingers down. And you keep going. And then kind of where the Lamet River starts to cut into the middle of the state, that's where the Lamet River is. And on the other side of the Cascade Mountains, along the Deschutes, right across from Eugene, that's where Bend is right there. And then down here under the row, kind of in between the mountains, we have Medford. And the other one is Pendleton, which is right up here. And that's, notice how Oregon in the northern part of it, you have the Columbia and it goes straight across the top. It's kind of like they didn't want to trace the Columbia anymore. Like, yeah, let's cut it right there. And that is where Pendleton is. So find where it goes straight and then right where it goes straight, go over a little bit more and then go down about a finger's width and there's Pendleton. So it's good to know those before um, you even start. So I'd say have this ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna keep going now. So now for the fun part, we've got all this ready. I'm just gonna take my dough and hopefully you haven't let your dough dry too much yet. And then just kind of plop it on there. This is the fun part. And as you do it too, I would be no one thing to be noticing is this guy here, this cross elevation section. Because that's, this is the height of Oregon. So as you, you notice on the Pacific Ocean, of course it goes all the way down to zero because then that's where the water starts. It goes up a little bit for the coast range. Coast range is right here. Then it goes down to the Lamette Valley. A valley is where it's lowest. And it goes back up a lot for the Cascades because that's where Mount Hood is. And that, those are the very tallest mountains in Oregon. And the Cascade, and then it goes down, but not nearly as much as even the Coast Range. It's still above it over here. And it goes back up for the Blue Mountains. And then this whole Great Basin, that is all pretty high country. So if you look at this, you'll notice that's all like, Brown. So even though it's um, it's not really necessarily a mountain range, it's just a lot higher. That's like the, the basin range right here. It's all desert country. So, uh oh, I'm kind of sticking to it. That's okay though. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that too much yet. First of all, let's just cover up the state. So I got that. That's looking pretty good. Let's see if I can go kind of fast for you. So I can just, yeah, I like having the Sharpie element out on the outside. That's, I think, I would probably recommend doing that rather than, but it'd probably work either way, actually. Okay, so I'm gonna go along, and then once I get the, all of it, I can start doing my mountains and rivers. Does. On this side, this is the Pacific Ocean, it doesn't need to be very high here. So I should, if I have too much there, I can just kind of spring it on up over here. It's not very high here. Oregon in general gets higher as you go to this side of the state, to Idaho. Okay, so now I've got it filled in. So now I'm gonna be looking at this map that I've already made. So it's kind of, Oregon's kind of flat course, right next to the water, it gets, in fact, it gets totally flat because if you're right against the water, you can just walk into it. 
which means you're at sea level. And then it goes about, see where it kind of starts to go down a little bit right there? Like if you're looking at the, the Columbia River, when it starts to kind of go down, right here, where it starts to go down, that is where the coast mountains are. So then it kind of goes up right there. So you just kind of form it with your fingers like that. So I've got a the coast range and it goes from California all the way up to Washington. So that goes up the entire state right there. And now right here, we're in the valley. So with just some fingers, I'm gonna kind of flatten it out. So that's the valley and that's where we live, Lamette Valley. That goes basically just straight up from California to Washington. And now we have, let's see, so here's what we've done so far. We've done the coast range, well we've done the coast, which is totally flat. We've done the coast range mountains, which is, goes up. Then we've gone back down for the valley. And if you look at this, you can see it goes, it doesn't go down to sea level, but it goes pretty low. And now it's going to go quite high for these Cascade Range Mountains. So I might even get some more salt dough from my bowl and really make it get kind of high here. That's kind of the fun part where you have the mountains. And that, the whole mountain range spans the entire state too. So as I'm doing this, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of looking at this map, I have this one out, and I've got this one out too. I'm kind of looking at both of them. And then, once I have that, and this whole chunks, the whole eastern side that's near Idaho should be quite a bit higher than the valley where we live. But not quite as high as the Cascade mountains. And now I'm going to notice I have these cool blue mountains here that start about eh, about halfway through the state and they kind of go up like that. And they don't go quite as high as the Cascades, but you know, they go up there. So you can kind of like form it like that. And they kind of go over here and they go right to the border. So we've got those mountains too. And you might even kind of get put your eye low once in a while, make sure they're not higher than next. They're a little lower than that. And then, and it's a little lower up here too, all along pretty much the top here. You can see here, green means lower. So this should all be kind of low up here because it goes right up to the river. And this is all very low. And this is all pretty high. And then you just kind of leave that just sort of, I mean, it's not obvious, it's obviously not just flat, but it's pretty, you know, it's, there's not too much happening there either. But you have like some kind of hills and stuff. Okay, so that looks, I think that looks pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about where my rivers are. So I have the Willamette. It's kind of right in here. And if you want to, you can just paint this later with your paintbrush. I think I'm gonna, since I have my little chopstick out, I'm gonna see if I can kind of just look at this and sculpt it as I go. So it goes, it's all in the valley. Kind of goes like that. And then the rogue is down here. And then to shoots is right on this side. Goes up from the Columbia. The Columbia is right next to the mountain range. And it kind of goes along this, this side of the mountains. So I just decided to put those in there like that. Klamath Lake is actually on the mountain range, kind of around here. And the Colum and the Crater Lake is kind of right up there too. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, that's for sure. 
but just do your best. The main things you're thinking about are, does it, do you have a little coast range of mountains? Do you have a Willamette Valley? Do you have a big Cascade mountain range that goes all the way across? Then does it go back down? And then is it a little higher up here? And then do you have the Blue Mountains over here? You can do it.